Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Pretender Bugly and I love this toy. But before we get into the review, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it will help me and the channel out. If you'd like to further help out the channel, please share with your friends if you like what you see. Share this video on social media, invite them to come over, check out the channel, and subscribe as well. Now that we're losing our community options and notifications, the best way to keep up on what's going on with the channel is to come back and check it out often. I usually upload one to two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed a donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Now let's check out the review. Hello and welcome. I'm Bertha Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Transformers Generation 1 Pretender Decepticon Bugly, and I love this toy. Originally released in 1988, he retailed for approximately $10. And uh, this one is a really, really cool and interesting one that I've actually been after for quite some time. He is a very cool, uh, another one of these like monster uh, bodies. So, you know, we've got the whole bug theme with this one going on. And it's just got some really, really cool detailing going all the way around. This is one of the few guys that actually has some details around the back of the shell. And I really do love this one because it's got the uh, bug antennas here and you can actually turn these around. I guess you can count these as um, articulation. So, you know, you can move them down. If, if This is actually kind of handy when you're putting it on the shelf uh, to have the antennas down. You know, you can just have them off to the side. I really like the way they look with the antennas all the way up like that. That just looks so, so cool to me. Uh, uh, one more time around the back here. We also got these little wings right here. I think this is a missed opportunity. This would have been cool if it would have been on some sort of rotation or something or other so that we can move the wings in and out. That would have been fantastic and the final touch this figure would have needed. But as it is very cool detail, you got a really cool bug head with those bug eyes. All You got all the little uh, multiple eyes in there and nice bright fangs right there. Fangs or I guess, yeah, fangs. Yeah, armor, uh, purple armor, uh, gray belt, uh, black body with some uh, bluish or turquoise uh, detailing right there. Very, very cool. I really love the way that this guy looks. All the detailing in the legs, the little spikes, the little feet, everything. It's just so, so cool. This guy does come with a couple of weapons. He has two of these. I kind of wish he would have had three, and I'll show you why in a moment. But these, these, these are the two weapons. Now, very cool about this figure is this is another one of those guys that has that kind of the, that weird arm. So this guy has one regular hand, and then he's got this kind of like a pincher arm right there. So that, that makes him unique as well. But what was cool is that they did mold a little hole on the top there so that you could put one of the weapons in just like that. And then on the other hand, as you saw, you can have the other weapon and hold that as a gun. Or another option is that you can flip this and peg it in this way, and now he's got himself a battle axe. So again, this is this is a very interesting pretender because it's got a couple of play features. You can actually do stuff with it, and we're still only just looking at the shell. We haven't even got into the robot himself. So that's really, really neat. For comparison, real quick, here he is with Finback, which is the most uh, recent pretender that I reviewed. So you can see what these guys look like together, and they were all about the same size. So. Real quick, getting into the, uh, I guess, the Pretender Robot Within. We'll go ahead and remove his weapons and set those off to the side. Oh, real quick, again, for articulation on the shell, not a whole lot other than the arms can go all the way around. That's about it, unless you want to count the antenna as articulation. But other than that, that's going to be about it. We've got a rubber belt one more time, so we have to remove the belt to separate the shell half. So we're just going to very carefully... Take that off. This is that soft, rubbery plastic, so you do want to be careful with these guys. Set that aside and separate the shell, and that will reveal the robot within. And we'll set him off for a moment and put the shell back together. I always like putting my shells back together. Set that guy there, set that guy there. And we'll stand him off in the background, and we'll get this guy straightened out. We'll straighten out his arms. Straighten out his feet, and here is Bugly's robot mode. So, bring him, bring him on down. 
So here in robot mode, Bugly is approximately four and a half inches tall. The shell, by the way, was about six and a half inches tall. I, sh I should have mentioned that. So the shell itself, let me bring this back up. The shell is about six and a half inches tall at the top of the head, eight and a half if you want to go to the top of the antenna there. And then, of course, the robot mode right here is about four and a half inches tall. And again, this is very similar to what we've seen before yet different enough to be fun so and that's that's something that i find fascinating about these pretenders is that for the most part um, not counting the classic ones that came out later the bumblebee and starscream grimlock uh, jazz the the first wave of the large pretenders all these guys that looked like this uh they were pretty much the same robot <laughs> over the same three robots over and over at least the same three skeletons over and over but they did retool and reshell the the skeletons themselves so that you were getting just that like it's it's kind of like you were getting the same toy but different enough uh to be fun and and that really makes this fun for me because it's really interesting to see how many different variations of these guys they could make and how many different little vehicles they could come up with on basically the same three transformations, which is really, really cool and fascinating. And uh, yeah, just interesting to collect these guys. So again, for... Um, for details now here's the thing with the details on this guy uh i got this guy uh, my, my friend barry from junior's toy box he's had this guy for a while i've gotten a couple of my pretenders from him he's had this guy for a while and i've had my eye on him uh and, and for a while i mean well over a year, i think like a year and a half i've been watching this guy uh but he didn't have the antenna so I was waiting for either him to find the antenna or me to find the antenna. I finally found the antenna uh, recently. So I purchased them. I went to Barry and I got this guy. And I recently picked him up at the local uh, collectors meetup that we had here uh, not too long ago. I actually picked up quite a bit of things that I'm going to be doing reviews on. So yeah, Bugly was in, in fantastic shape, but he didn't have any stickers whatsoever. And nobody makes sticker replacements for this guy. Toy Hacks doesn't make them. Uh, some of the other vendors that I usually look for online, uh, nobody. Nobody has stickers for this guy. So my friend Jason, the Patriot Prime, gave me a fantastic idea. And that is to just make my own out of Repro Label uh, scraps. And so that's what I did. I spent a good I, maybe an hour, hour and a half uh, with pictures of this guy. Just detailed pictures just pulled up and blown up on my computer while I went through all my scraps looking for the closest approximations that I could find to his original stickers. And I'm actually quite happy with the way he came out. So, the, you know, got the Decepticon stickers, got some stickers there, and then we got some details here on the side and some details on the back for the vehicle mode. So uh, I'm actually quite happy with the way this came out. Maybe someday we'll actually get a replacement sticker sheet for him. But in the meantime, I'm really happy with this. I, I really like the way this came out. So again, for uh, our details here, we can take a look at the head itself. Not a whole, uh, not a whole lot of uh, uh, details there, at least in paint. The the sculpt is fantastic. I really like that sculpt. Really wish they would have done something with the eyes. So uh, Repro Labels, Toy Hacks, if you guys are watching and you guys do decide to make a sticker set for this guy, do us all a big favor and give us some eye stickers, please. We need some details up there. Articulation, not a whole lot. We can go all the way around on the arms. Uh, I guess he can flex back a little bit that's about it and the legs can go forward and backwards and they got just a little bit of slight forward bend on the knee not a whole lot and then of course the toes can uh dip a little bit or uh tilt a little bit that's gonna be about it and then for the weapons of course he can hold both of them and what i like about these weapons is that they they gave them both pegs right so you got the, the thick peg and you got the thin peg so either part of the pretender can hold them in his hands which is not something that you saw done a lot uh so you know usually they'd make a, a different peg on a different part of the weapon so a lot of times you would have like if this guy was holding the weapon like this this guy would have to hold it sideways or something like that um this i really like the way they they design the handles on this guy so there he is that's what he looks like with with his weapons and again i already brought him in once but there he is with finback one more time so you can see what they look like together very very cool so getting in the transformation we'll take the weapons off we'll take the arms all the way up and then we're going to fold them back just like that mine are really tight and then i like to come around the back here and just kind of make sure that these are all lined up and straight take the toes straighten these out give them that slight little bend at the knee and then bring these all the way forward like so bring in the weapons and pop one each 
on each side. And then finally, make sure that these are straight. We're going to come up here and we're going to pull out these little fins right there. And here is Bugly's hovercraft mode. And yeah, very cool little mode here. Uh, again, this is another one of those. It, this is what it is because we say it is. Use your imagination. This can be really anything you'd like. But this is a really cool little spaceship to me. Little, you know, hovercraft, aircraft, spaceship. Uh, very cool little vehicle here. Once again, um, the only gripe that I have is the same gripe that I have with most of these guys is that I wish they would have found a way to hide the face. You know, they did it with Diver. Um, I wish they would have found a way to do it with, with, with all the other ones. He, Diver seems to be the only one that ha hides his face. But yeah, very, very cool little hovercraft mode. It is about three and a half inches long, about two inches tall at the top of the fin right there, and a wingspan of about four and a half inches wide. So it's actually wider than it is longer, which I guess would make sense for an aircraft. Very, very cool. Now, one thing I mentioned earlier is that I kind of wish that he would have had three of these weapons, and this is why. Uh, use your imagination, if you will. If you take one, you see, we got the little hole up here at the top. I may actually do this. I may actually go after a third one of these weapons. So, you know, if, if we hold it off this way, maybe like that, you can kind of get the idea of what I'm going for. So if we had three of these weapons, we could kind of have almost like one of those Tetra jets that we had in the beginning of Transformers. This guy would have been almost very Tetra jet looking if we would have had three of these. Uh, that would have been cool. I may actually do that. I may actually go after a third one of these guys just to be able to do that. Although I don't know what I would do with the third weapon when he was in... Well, I usually display them in shell in robot mode. So yeah, if, there'll be a place for a weapon everywhere. So we'll go ahead and take those off. Very, very cool. Again, uh, Pretenders is kind of a niche thing. You either love them or hate them, I guess. Um, I've discovered them, uh, just recently in the last few years, this was something that I did not like when I was a kid. Uh, but I was already kind of, by the time that these guys were, were coming out, I was already kind of out of Transformers. My brother was still in the Transformers. He never got any pretenders, but I remember seeing the commercials on TV and, and just not being impressed and not thinking that this was any good. Uh, so I'm kind of a late bloomer, a late discoverer when it comes to pretenders, uh, just in the last recent couple of years. And I find them very interesting and very fascinating. And I'm having a lot of fun just slowly collecting them and discovering them one at a time. Very, very cool. So if you're a G1 complete, uh, you know, if you're in the G1 or in the Pretenders or anything like that, this guy definitely needs to be in your collection. One of the better Pretenders, in my opinion. And I think that about covers Transformers Generation 1 Pretender Bugly. What did you think of this figure? Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Please hit that subscribe button. Please come back and check on the channel often to see whenever I upload a new video. Spread the word. Tell your friends if you like what you see. Have them come over and check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.